Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Last time we made it here to the Mermelair and proceeded to get some of the spatulas that were here and do a bunch of things really. We had to solve a puzzle that I had to cut for, which was embarrassing to say the least, but uh... What can you do? Uh, oh yeah, that was how you bowled. I was like, how do I bowl again? I kind of forget. But then I remembered. Also, did that thing just respawn? Is there something... Somewhere shooting out more of those things? Okay, what was the deal with that? Why, why would I want to do this? What was the point? Oh, we're supposed to hit that, I guess, and then get somewhere and let a ball go? Weird. Alright, well, I don't understand that yet, so I'm not going to bother with it. Let's go over here and talk to Mr. Krabs. Look, boy! There's gold under that glass! Gold, I say! My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it! All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. Okay... How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. Yeah, but it's a gold spatula, so I'm going to take it. You idiot. Come on. You know how this works. You've even been giving me golden spatulas. scavenger hunt. Three years running. Thank you. Okay, so we, we need to turn each of these things so that they're facing the correct directions. How do I turn this, though? It's not bubble bowling. Hmm. I kind of thought we would just turn that and it would... It would work. But no, it did not. Hmm. Okay. I guess there's no real reason? No, there is a reason. For this. Wow, okay, this is this is going to be quite the task. It may just be another case for the ball to reach the end. You'll have to move the pieces of machinery along the track. Yeah, I gathered that. Thank you. Um hopefully it's like in Gulagoon where I thought it was way more complicated or it seemed way more complicated than it actually was. If that was the case, this wouldn't be too terribly difficult. What does that do? I have no idea what that did. I pressed that. But what happened? Ooh, and then when we get it here, we have to steer it into that cup. That sounds awful. Okay, well, I can't help but notice there's a sock back there, so I think I'm gonna go grab that for now. This might, uh, take a minute solving this one. It doesn't seem as simple as the, uh, Goo Goo one. But hey, at least we got a sock out of this... ...whole... ...thing. So, I'm just gonna go to the next area and hope that this solves my... ...questions. Turn to the Mermelayer main chamber. Uh, hi. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward. I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. Why would I do that? What is pressing the master shutdown button going to do for me? <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Okay, so this allows me to get over here, but why? We're just to the villain containment area. Yeah, and I still don't know how to clear the rolling ball room. Also, did this just loop around? If so, that's really, really weird. Oh no, that's the security tunnel? Yeah, that must have looped around, though. Because this is the rolling ball room, correct? Or was this- oh no, this is this area. Okay, never mind. So this takes me here. Where does this next one take me? Just here? So to get back to the rolling ballroom, I would have to go through all this again. 
weird. Okay, let, let's let's just ignore that for now. Rolling ball room aside, what what do we have to do here? I think I just have to go over there with Patrick. Even though we accepted the quest of SpongeBob just fine? At least to get Patrick to move that one piece. I could just be missing something. Been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justin Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink! Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn. I shall not rest until you are captured! But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man! You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man! Boy. Okay, so we're in a boss fight. Got it. That was a long cutscene. So... Okay, I thought maybe jumping across would do something, but it doesn't seem like so. I feel like a new sponge. Am I supposed to get hit by this? No. Oh, did he just get tired? Um... Okay, that was weird. I couldn't go in there, even though the... It felt like the shield was lowered? Okay, evidently I just don't understand what's going on in this fight. Evidently I don't understand anything that's going on in this episode. Um... Bubble bowling? Uh, uh. Okay. B before, when I got hit, he like... Did something? Like, he stopped shooting, basically. Oh. There we go. Okay, so... We- Oh, Jesus. We- We can't go through the barrier ourselves for some reason, but we can throw a bubble through the barrier? I mean, I guess. I didn't think that was going to be the solution. I thought I could just walk up and smack him once I tired him out. Alright, so... I guess that's what the lanes are supposed to be for. To let you know that that's, uh, the solution there. Alright, come on. Over here. And then over here. And then smack, smack you, I think. There we go. And... boom. Alright, now, now that I understand what's going on, it's much simpler. I just had to get that first. Alright, and yeah, dodging him seems to tire him out for whatever reason. Jeez. Thought I was gonna die there. Uh, I need that HP. <sighs> Damn. I... I didn't th I, I was... So, to explain my stupid, stupid logic there, I was like, well, I'll just throw a... I, I'm scared of that guy hurting me with his hammer. 
before I get to the HP, so I'm just gonna throw a bubble bowling thing at him, but I forgot SpongeBob slows to a crawl, and, like, the camera didn't even turn the right way, so that thing caught up to me very quickly. Out of here, you jerks. I hate you. Alright, so now we just focus on damaging the boss as much as we can. That was an unfortunate setback, but we're past it now. This is just not a good episode for me. It's an awful one, in fact. Alright, here you go again. Alright, come on. Tire yourself out. Here we go. And... Boom. Here we go. Again, thanks to you, Frankie. My name's SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock drawer next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness. Are you still here? Okay. <laughs> Mermaid Man's voice still weirds me out, and yet I also realize that Prawn is... Plankton? Oddly enough? I don't think Prawn ever actually showed up as a character in the show. They might have mentioned him by name, but I never... Like, I remember the Atomic Flounder, the Dirty Bubble, and... Man Ray, of course. But... Prawn is never an enemy I remember seeing. Okay, so that's the security tunnel that we can go back through. Yeah, so that that one's just the only one I'm missing. And it really feels like I need a different character for that one. Alright, I might head back in there and see what I can figure out again and not actually quit until I get it this time. Oh my god. Did I not do that when I was in here before? I was like, well, let me try the bubble bowling thing again. And I did, and now it now it just works? Yeah, see, I just did it again there. Weird. Did I not charge it up enough last time? Yeah, it looks like you gotta charge it up a certain amount or it doesn't work. So that must have been what I ran into last time. Okay, well, that, that was a stupid, stupid issue to have. Okay, whatever. We're, we're gonna do it now. Wow, that sucks. Okay, so now that we actually know what we're doing, maybe this we can make this work. Well, that ball travels real slow. I hope it makes it across. Did I do it way too early? Maybe not? Okay, just barely not. Oh wait, no, it- okay, yeah, that was too early. Well, it doesn't even matter, what do I do next after this? Because... Does this do something with this? Ah. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Yeah. Like Aiming this yeah. thing's rough sometimes, there we go. Okay, so that... Just moves that, but it doesn't do anything with this. So how am I supposed to interact with this? Because I do believe this needs to do something. Or else, um, the stuff over there just isn't going to work. Yeah, because it'll just roll off the edge right here and then that'll be it. So how do I make this move down... ...so that it kind of collects the ball and then puts it up here? I don't see a switch or anything that activates this anywhere. Maybe I just have to hit it with the bubble boy? Really? The bubbles just solve everything? <laughs> Evidently. Okay, so let's do the next part then. This seems more about the timing than anything because I just did it way too early last time and that's what ended up screwing me over. Good. It... There we go. Alright, and now I need to do you. Did that work? Yes. 
Please, please roll in there. There we go. Scoop successful. All right, and you... Oops. Nope. I, I did it! No! Shit! Ah... Uh, oh, okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. We're good. I might have done it too early now, actually. Yep. Too early. Okay. Well, that sucks. I was freaking out because I, I kept missing, basically, because... Spongebob moves forward when he does this. So I kept stepping off the switch and the gate would come down. So I was messing that up, but... Alright, well, I'm gonna get us back to where we were and in the puzzle. And uh, I'll see you when I'm back there. Alright, here we go. Hopefully I get this timing right. Alright, it's coming. It's going pretty fast, actually, so... Please? Oh, barely. Okay. Okay, we gotta, we gotta get up here and fast, though. Phew. Alright, alright, we've got it. There. Okay, okay, okay. And now... Boom. Okay, and that moves that up. Ooh. No, don't you dare. Are you serious? Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. You get it all the way over here and then it can just fall into the pocket like that? I thought I was even pushing it enough to where that wasn't going to happen. Alright. Looks like we're doing that little thing again. Alright, here we are. Back over here again. Alright, I managed to raise the hammer, so... Let's just do it like... No, 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 no. Okay, now up. This way I go... Yeah, you better not roll into that damn hole again. Get in there. As you just levitate in there, basically. Hmm. Wait. No. Are you serious? And then you have to time it to go between the phase of the blades of this fan? Oh, this is awful. I hate this. But now it's now it's personal, basically. God, first you have to get it past that stupid ball part, but then there's another like you're pressed for time moment where you got to get it past something again, but you're pressed for time doing it. So there's many, many opportunities to screw up. I hate it. I hate it so much. All right, move, 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 move. We got a few good shots. Oh, I hit it. Oh. Wow. I did not enjoy that. That was that was not fun. I mean, once I figured out that the um you actually hit that with the bowling ball, it was it was a bit easier, but god, the amount of steps that's required where you can't screw up at all. It's just infuriating. <laughs> Jeez. Never again. Never again. Ever. I don't- I don't want to see you ever again. Ball puzzle. Go away forever. I love opening presents. Boy. I- I'm glad I missed out on that trauma as a child, cause... Boy. I would have gotten super, super pissed off with that as a kid. <laughs> I would have gotten so mad. Luckily now I'm quite cool, like I'm... I can keep a calm head and everything, but as a child, I would have started, like, throwing shit. It happened before, when I was playing Super Mario Sunshine. Or just, like, breaking my controller. Of course, I never actually broke a controller, but I, I would smash it occasionally. I mean, I was, I was a kid getting angry at video games. Of course that was going to happen. 
It was especially infuriating with uh, Super Mario Sunshine. But now I think we're good just to get out of here. I don't even actually know why I'm walking back. We can just teleport back to Bikini Bottom. So we get out of here quickly. And boy howdy do I want to get out of here quickly. After being introduced to that hell puzzle. Let's get out of Spongebob's house. We, we have no reason to be here anymore. Jeez. Mr. Krabs isn't here anymore? Huh, where'd he go? Also, why is this here now? What was the point of this? Is this needed to solve a puzzle somewhere or something? I mean, I don't imagine so. Maybe it's just for getting around faster? Possibly. How many socks do I have? Eight. Not enough. Alright, well that's another level down. How many more do we actually have to go? So we've done Jellyfish Fields, we have not done Rock Bottom. We also haven't done Industrial Park, which I'm guessing is probably just a boss fight. Considering usually the ones that just have like one spatula. Are a boss fight. Sand Mountain, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, the Chum Bucket Lab, the Kelp Forest, Mr. Krabs, Spatulas, Spongebob's Dream. Okay. So we have a few levels left. That's nice. So we went into Shady Shoals that took us to hell, basically. Let's enter Sandy's treehouse, why don't we? Sandy, your tree dome is leaking! Oh, Jesus, why? Don't show me that version of Spongebob. Them there robots busted up the glass, Spongebob! I got a treehouse chock full of robots and it's all your fault, so get in there and clean up your miss. Are you ready, kids? Set, go. Okay, well, I really wish I was Sandy for this part, ironically, because it would make this fighting much easier. Also, yeah, we don't- we don't have water, so Spongebob is going to die. But we're doing a good job murdering all the robots, at least. Get out of here. Ow. Screw you, stupid tartar sauce guys. They attack so quickly. Alrighty then, that's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh god, it's so horrible. Don't show me that SpongeBob face. Why? Ugh. Honestly, it doesn't look as bad as the one in the actual show. I just wasn't expecting the game to have it, and also wasn't expecting Spongebob to, like, laugh and everything as this weird version of him. Fresh, like a Patrick, breeze. are you peeking? What is wrong with you, sir? Can I go in Sandy's house? I can't. There's, uh, some game, it might be Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, that actually allows you to go in Sandy's house. You have to travel up there and, like, defeat bees or something, I think. I don't- I don't quite remember. I don't remember which game that was either. SpongeBob, Patrick's gone. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works. Got it. Thank you, Bubble Buddy. But I already knew that. I appreciate the sentiment though. So let's go ahead and bowl this button then. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. So what does this do? Ooh. Gimme that. Sponge wearing five pairs of underwear coming through. I feel like a new sponge. Whoa. Okay, I didn't even see this whole like platforming section here. I thought that was just for getting up there to the uh golden underwear. Oh jeez. Almost fell. Huh. Cool. Alright, does that count as two of the Bikini Bottom ones, I guess? Yeah, it does. Cool. Alright. Well, we got some of those. That's good. Progress is being made. I'm recording a little bit longer for this episode because I imagine the episode, if I had ke if I had just stopped at the end of the Mermelair, would have been like 10 minutes with how much I was going to have to cut out to make that video watchable, basically. Okay, so that's the Bikini Bottom Police Department. Mr. Krabs has moved over Your here now. Yeah, I need 9,000 before you'll... 
care about me. Okay, that one's 30. Sand Mountain. That's towards the Chum Bucket. What about in here? Also, is there anything back here? No. Okay, well. What's in the police station? The Bikini Bottom Police Department. Okay, cool. There's not much. It's just a tiny little place. Hey, buddy. How we doing? Is there anything of note in here? Bikini Bottom Most Wanted. Oh, it's just lets you see all the enemies. Plankton is the finest model citizen I know. He likes helping people, singing, hacking computers, uh, never mind that last bit. Plankton's the best. Okay, so we're missing four enemies. We haven't seen four enemy types. Robot viewer, step on the metal square in front of the viewer to activate it. You can use the viewer to read the case files of captured robots. Wait, so that means Plankton's a robot? Oh no. L new lore being discovered. Okay, so that's all that's in here. Doesn't seem like there's really much of interest. Maybe we get a spatula if we, like, once we see all the enemy types or something? Possibly. So I'm guessing this is just to make me travel around faster. Weird. Alright, we can go to rock bottom, I guess. I have enough. Welcome to the dark depths of Rock Bottom, home of strange creatures and souvenir t-shirts. Museum. Bob, I'm actually glad you're here, believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. All right, Mrs. Puff, let's just calm down, all right? No need to get violent. Okay, I guess we're gonna go ahead and end things off here now that we've arrived in a new area. I'm not sure how long this episode will be, but honestly, that, that puzzle took a lot out of me. So, and it is quite late. I'm recording these pretty late, so if I seem stupid this episode, <laughs> that might be why. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Almost forgot the name for a second. And I will see you next time. <laughs>